you guys, it's your girl T, and I got a story that's coming from my first favorite state, Ratchet Ass, Florida, okay? So what's going down in Ratchet, Florida, you ask? What's going down is that there's this crazy story. I've honestly wanted to do a video about this for like the past week, but I've been holding off for more information to come out because this story is not sitting well with my spirit whatsoever. So if you guys don't know, there's a situation about this 32-year-old woman. Her name is Markeva Jenkins. And basically, Markeva took to Facebook to share her blessings with the world. And in her Facebook post, she stated that from the years of 2013 to 2014, she was homeless. And in just two short years, she was able to get a six-figure salary job. And she was very happy with life. So she was sharing all her blessings on Facebook. And then not even two hours later, somebody knocked on her door. She let them in. And they proceeded to come into her house with a gun. They basically ordered her and her husband to go into the bathroom. And I believe it was also another adult. They allowed the children to leave the house and then they proceeded to put the gun to her head and blow her brains out, but they didn't kill any other adult. So a lot of folks were like really like, you know, just confused as to why a masked man would come into the house and, you know, why would you have three adults then only kill one of them? Why would you leave any witnesses? Okay. So at first I was just thinking it was one of those situations where, you know, it's obviously somebody who's jealous of her, you know, this makes no sense. But then when the news clip came out, and her husband was talking, I just got a really, really bad vibe from him in my spirit. This man did not look mournful. He did not look concerned. And so my first thought is they need to make sure that he did not have some type of insurance policy on her because he does not come off like a grieving husband, okay? I want you guys to go ahead and check out the news clip really quick. Watch this, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my time. Since an update to a story we first brought you yesterday at 6, the search is on for a gunman who killed a mother of three in Boynton Beach. Today, we're hearing from her husband about her tragic final moments. CBS 4 anchor Rick Falbaum is in the newsroom with the man's heartbreaking story. Rick? Well, Elliot, Yuri Jenkins says he had to watch his wife die in his arms moments after an armed intruder shot her in the head. Faced with this unspeakable tragedy, he is going to do his best to hold on to the good memories of her. She was a strong woman, a strong Christian. She kept me level. Yuri Jenkins is the husband of Makeva Jenkins. He says for the past 24 hours, he keeps replaying the image of his wife's brutal murder in his mind. My wife was a good wife. She was a good mom. She was an entrepreneur. She came from nothing to something. Jenkins says he was with Makeva just before 1.30 in the morning inside their home in unincorporated Lake Worth when a masked gunman forced the couple, a friend, and their children at gunpoint to go upstairs. They persuaded the gunman to let the children leave the house before they were forced to lie face down on the floor. Yuri then saw the gunman shoot his wife in the head. I held her in my arms. She was alive. <laughs> He says the emotional trauma is something that will last his lifetime, but now his priority is his children. My oldest daughter, she's taking it hard. My six-year-old, he don't, he knows, but he doesn't know. It's, and my baby girl, she don't really know what's going on. She's one year old. Jenkins, a barber by trade, telling CBS News that to get through this difficult time, he'll look to his family and his church for support. Heartbreaking story. And just two hours before her death, Jenkins had posted on Facebook, Elliot, that she was proud of herself for working her way from homelessness to financial success in just two years. Relatives fear that her post may have had something to do with her death. In the newsroom, Rick Fulbaum, Elliot, back to you. Very sad story, Rick. Let's hope they find the people who did this. Thank you for that report from the newsroom. All right, All right so you guys just saw that news clip. And like I said, something is not adding up about this story. And this is why I didn't want to do a video right away. I'm not saying that that man killed his wife, but it's something about his demeanor that just didn't gel well with me at all. He's sitting here trying to wipe his face. Um, excuse me, sir, what are you wiping? There wasn't not one damn tear on that dry ass face of yours, okay? So now if that's not crazy enough, it went down on Facebook two days ago. So what happened is that after the death of Markeva, all of a sudden this other girl, she kept popping up on all these Facebook pages that were dedicated to the death of Markeva and folks trying to find out who killed her. And the girl was just throwing a lot of shade. Her name is Tiffany Nicole. And then when people started going off on Tiffany saying that you're being really disrespectful, 
Tiffany came out and was like, you know what? Yuri Jenkins, who is Markeva's husband of seven years, is the father of her one-year-old son. So she put it out there and she said that Markeva knew about the baby and treated her son like shit and she doesn't care that Markeva is dead. So folks started threatening her, started going off on her. And when I tell you, honey, she took the Facebook and she went off. She was threatening people, cussing them out. This entire situation is a hot damn mess. She went on a rant for literally an hour. I have the first five minutes of it. I'm not going to show the whole hour. Go ahead and check this out and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Oh my god. Show me. She's talking about my kids. Bitch, you see a pussy nigga 
slap a pussy nigga. Oh I guarantee you, you mock hoes ain't about that shit. I guarantee you, you mock hoes ain't about that shit. Bitch, when it calls that, oh I ain't chase no rabbits. Ho, I chase pistols. Ho, I don't chase rabbits. Bitch, I chase fuck niggas. You hoes got me. <laughs> you hoes got me high. Bitch, you hoes got me high. My twins gonna be one on, on the eighth. Puss ass hoes and y'all puss ass hoes. Cancer game. Yeah, she do need her ass whoop. About talking about that motherfucking lady. That ain't funny. Oh shit, Jackson, Jackson, bitch. She gonna cuss your ass out. She gonna be in bed like the mark, cousin. Let y'all see how I beg this puss ass hoe to motherfucking talk to my son. Ho, you ain't even wanna talk to my motherfucking son. And you think I give a fuck about a bitch talking about I give a fuck about her being dead and I done cried? Bitch, since this hoe been gone? Not talking like that, yeah, puss ass hoe. Fuck that. Line that shit up. What them hoes at? You already line know bed like gonna stomp that hoe. That bitch better not go to bed like this girl being dead. You should have just said right now. You hoes kill me. My kids gonna be without a mama. But I guarantee you, bitch, when I leave from about body that bitch, y'all gonna remember me. They might name the sugar cane field after me, bitch. And I mean that shit. Because I'm gonna tear that shit up. <laughs> I just saw that damn ratchet ass video of Tiffany firing back and going off on people on Facebook Live. Now, one thing she also admitted is that she'd been seeing Yuri Jenkins, who is Markiva's husband since 2008. She claims that he only married Markiva because Markiva had an unexpected pregnancy, but they have been messing around ever since then, and they also have a one year old child together. And then she had the nerve to claim that she was attending Markiva's funeral and she was gonna wear all pink. I mean, this whole situation is a hot damn mess, but I really think the police need to look closer into Markiva's husband, Yuri Jenkins, and into this girl, Tiffany Nicole. I'm not saying that they're the ones who pulled the damn trigger, but what I'm saying is that they might know who the hell busted up in that house and got the shooting like that, okay? Somebody knows something, and the fact that the damn side chick is this bold that she's disrespecting the dead woman who did nothing to her, how are you mad at her and how she treats your son when you wrecked her happy home? Like, these side chicks in 2017 have no shame whatsoever. I don't know what has emboldened these women, but they have no shame. So you're sitting here creeping with this woman's husband, okay, because he married her. He didn't marry you. Then you have the nerve to have a baby by her husband, and then you're mad at her, and you're talking crazy to her, and now that she's dead, you're still going in on her, calling all types of hoes, and just being disrespectful to her, as if her family and her children are not mourning her death. I mean, this entire situation is just sick. And then for the man to be dating this type of woman who's disrespectful and ratchet like this, it says a lot about Yuri Jenkins. And the sad thing is if Markiva was making what she was making, they were saying that she was making upwards of 100000 annually. You know what I'm saying? In less than two years, you know, her income dramatically increased. She bought a new house, all types of good stuff. Markiva should have let this damn ratchet ass hood booger go, okay? Not only was he cheating on her, having side babies, but he's also enjoying the spoils of her hard work. She should have cut his ass off and let him go on about his business. You know, this whole situation is just really, really sad. But I do want to say this before I go. Be careful who you share your blessings with, okay? This is one of those situations where people need to realize as much as you want to share your blessings with everybody and as hard as it is to, you know, to keep your joy to yourself and your happiness to yourself because you want to share it with the world, you want to share it with the people who mean the most to you, you know, so-called friends, so-called family members. It's better to keep your personal business and your financial business to yourself, you know what I'm saying, to not tell everybody, and especially not on social media. Don't tell folks about your blessings. Don't tell folks about your moves because all it does is just bring energy vampires, haters, the green-eyed monster pops up, you know what I'm saying, folks feel some type of way. It's always better to move in silence, okay? Don't tell folks your business. Don't share none of your shit with people. Just do you, and people will see your blessings. You ain't got to announce it to the world. People will see how you're moving you know what I mean you ain't got to brag about shit let them see you 
You know, so even though she was trying to tell folks about her blessing and how she came up, she really should have just kept that to herself because the fact that somebody came and killed her two hours after that, that just shows you the type of mentality that person who killed her had. You know, and it's really sad that we can't share our blessings. It's really sad that we can't say what our next moves are because it's always somebody who got something smart to say. It's always somebody being a negative Nancy. You know what I mean? I've been through that. That's why I don't tell people shit. So like I said, in my personal opinion, it's always better to keep your blessings and your moves and your decisions and whatever you're trying to do in life, your little goals and stuff like that. Keep them to yourself or only share them with people who have the same mentality as you, who want to go somewhere in life, who want to be on the same level with you. They don't want to see you beneath them. You know what I'm saying? And they're okay if you rise above them. They want to get to where you're at or where you're trying to go. Those are the people that you should connect with and, you know, share things with and bounce things off of each other. All these other hood boogers, it makes no sense to even front for them because they have nothing going on in their lives anyway, so why try and impress them? You know what I'm saying? So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation coming from our first favorite state, Ratchet Ass Florida. What do you guys think about the death of Markeva happening two hours after she posted her blessing on Facebook? Do you feel like her husband was not being sincere in that news interview? And then now that his side chick done came out damn wild out on Facebook, do you feel like she might have something to do with the situation as well? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Hey you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.